Santa Claus is a legendary figure that children from around the world look up to. For over a hundred years, it's been traditional to visit your local Santa at the mall. The practice began in Brockton, Massachusetts in 1890, when a dry goods store owner named James Edgar came up with the idea to dress as Santa Claus to attract more customers to his store. Word spread quickly, and within days, children from all over New England begged their parents to go meet Santa Claus. In popular culture, the man behind the Santa costume is sometimes represented as a sweet old man who wants to help children, but more often than not, he's portrayed as a cranky miser who just wants to make a buck around the holidays. But are all mall Santas really on the naughty list? Let's find out with these 10 secrets your local Santa doesn't want you to know. Amazing. Number 10. They Fake the Belly of course, the image everyone has of Santa is of his belly that jiggles like a bowl full of jelly, but not all mall Santas have or want to have the same physique. A mall will usually establish a goal size for all the Santas they employ and use different size fat suits to keep their Santas consistent. Smaller suits for those with natural padding and thicker fat suits for the Santas with a better physique. This is necessary in case a child comes back to the same mall and recognizes a large difference between the Santas. Other ways that malls will try to keep their Santas consistent is through the signature ho ho ho. While everyone assumes that the ho 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 is the easiest part of the job, there are a lot of Santas that can't nail the signature laugh. These are the Santas that will do a lot of silent waving and smiling. Number 9. Not all Santas like all kids. While mall Santas should like kids in general, they don't like every single kid. A picture of a screaming child sitting on Santa's lap may be great for your photo album, but most mall Santas want nothing to do with your crying baby. Don't forget that you're paying for a picture with Santa, not hiring a two-minute babysitter. Also, Santas are not a huge fan of those kids that treat Santa's lap like a couch. Be gentle when sitting on Santa's lap. He has hundreds of kids and some not-so-small adults that sit on his lap every day. Some of the older Santas will finish the day with an ice pack or a heating pad on their lap. Number 8. Kids Cut Out the Middleman some kids will opt to bring their letters directly to the man himself instead of relying on the postal service. These are the ones that probably didn't get that toy they asked for by letter the previous year. So what happens to the letters? Rest assured that every one of them is read. Children usually hand their letters to Santa as if they're giving him a bar of gold, and mall Santas totally understand. Some of the prettier drawings or funnier requests will end up on the changing room walls. On those days when the fat suit is extra hot, the beard unbearably itchy, and they're dreading how long the line of customers is going to be. Those letters can actually help boost the mall Santa's spirits. So please, keep them coming. Number 7. Beard Secrets Not all mall Santas are lucky enough to have Santa's signature white beard, so most mall Santas have to rely on a fake beard to look the part. Pop culture will have you believe that Santas get their beard pulled off all the time, but the truth might surprise you. Most mall Santas will report only getting their beard snatched once a season. Why so low? Mall Santas might not make the naughty and nice list, but they can usually tell who is going to be trouble. A child with their parent is most likely not going to go for your beard, but a group of teenagers in line without an adult is usually a red flag. While Santa does not want to discriminate, he usually will ask Mrs. Claus or an elf to stay close by when his gut is telling him to be careful. Similar to the size of Santas, malls will usually dictate a specific style of beard that all Santas have to wear since there are so many varieties. What mall Santas don't want you to know is how much those beards stink and how quickly they turn that way. No matter how much you brush your teeth or how much you blow your nose, your beard is going to get dirty and start smelling by the end of your shift. Professional mall Santas will eat simple foods and always have mints or a candy cane in their pocket. But they would still recommend not getting too close to Santa's beard, just in case. And, sorry to burst your bubble here, but even if the beard is real, it is nowhere near natural. Hardly anyone has such white facial hair, so they have to use bleach to get that white color. Also, nobody's facial hair curls like this naturally. That's why just about every mall Santa has curling irons. Number 6. Code Words Santa can get in a sticky situation sometimes, so it's imperative to establish code words so that little ears nearby won't understand what Santa is talking about. A common code word you will hear is Santa needs to go feed the reindeer, which usually means that Santa needs a break or needs to use the restroom but it can also be assigned to Mrs. Claus or an elf that the kid on Santa's lap is annoying him. Speaking of Mrs. Claus, she usually gets a lot of blame since Santa doesn't want to be the bad guy. They will often say, I need to check with Mrs. Claus if a question comes up that Santa can't commit to. 
even though Santa is a magical character to most kids. They're so used to having to ask their mom's permission for things that even Santa saying he has to check with Mrs. Claus is usually a good enough answer. Number 5. They're well paid. Being a mall Santa is a lot of work. Shifts are usually 8 to 12 hours long and grueling. The fat suit and costume is so heavy and hot, and the beard and hat are extremely itchy, so they're busy the entire time with no downtime, and the job only lasts for a few months. For these and many other reasons, being a mall Santa is not a very desirable job. The list of qualified and willing applicants is a fairly small hiring pool, so the pay is relatively high compared to other jobs to attract more people. For department stores, paying their Santas a high wage is a no-brainer. When they pay more, they get a better Santa, which attracts more customers and gains them more sales. For professional Santas with thick white beards and a built-in belly jiggle, there are extremely high-paying jobs at the more prestigious department stores. Top pros in the Santa business can make enough money during the holiday season to afford to not work the rest of the year. Number 4. Never Promise The number one rule for a mall Santa is to never ever promise a gift. Ever. Even when the gift the child is asking for is something extremely simple like a doll or a truck, there is no way for Santa to know for sure that it will be waiting under the tree on Christmas morning. Santa has to avoid any situation that could lead to a child being disappointed on Christmas. So how does Santa get away with this, since every child that sits on his lap wants a promise that they are going to get what they ask for? Santa has a few clever ways to maneuver the question. The classic way is to tell the child, Santa needs to check with your parents to see if you have been good. This is Santa's attempt at giving the parents a chance to give a nod or shake of the head to let Santa know if they plan on getting that gift for their kid or not. Even if the parents give a solid thumbs up, Santa knows better and will still say, Santa will see what he can do. Number 3. Not all Santas are vetted. While many mall Santa Clauses go through Santa school where they learn to act like Santa and ho 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 with the best of them, there is no guarantee that every mall Santa has been properly vetted for the job. Much like the opening scene of A Miracle on 34th Street, sometimes a Santa does not work out and the mall is in a pinch and needs a fill-in as soon as possible. Do they risk upsetting the kids lined up to meet Santa, or do they find a quick alternative? We spoke with a former mall Santa who spilled his secrets and let us know that he was selected as a Santa with zero background checks. In fact, he was a 16-year-old who was visiting a friend working as an elf when their Santa quit on the spot. He was asked to fill in and within 10 minutes was in costume and taking pictures with kids. While this is not the typical situation, just remember that the Santa you are visiting could be a seasoned professional, or it could be a 16-year-old hiding his braces behind his beard. Number 2. Secret Wishes Most parents will prep their child with a few toys to ask for when they sit on Santa's lap. These are generally standard toys that every kid asks for. A football, a doll, a toy car, or sometimes the hot toy that everyone wants that year. However, some kids choose to go off script entirely and have other gifts in mind for Christmas. Some children will wait till their parents are out of earshot and whisper what they really want for Christmas in his ear. Santas have reported getting requests for candy, Nerf guns, and ponies, among other toys. Santa always does his best to pass that request on to the parents sometimes using Mrs. Claus to share the information without the child overhearing. But sometimes these requests are not a standard gift at all. One Santa shared with us a story about a child who asked for new parents, with their parents standing right there next to him. Some are a lot harder to navigate, such as the three-year-old that asked Santa for a tattoo, or the young child who asked for his grandparents to be alive again. Santa never wants to say the wrong thing, so these instances are the trickiest part of being a Santa. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Santas Love the Attention No matter if your mall Santa has a heart of gold or is a bit on the cranky side, the one thing all mall Santas have in common is a love of the attention. The kids that visit Santa look up to him like a superhero or a protector, or even a magical figure, and all mall Santas understand that. They know that they aren't just playing a chubby guy in a fuzzy red suit. They're playing a character that means so much to these kids. Saint Nick, Kris Kringle, Father Christmas, Santa Claus. The character goes by so many names, but at the heart of it, he is about love and kindness and being good to each other. Having the opportunity to represent that sentiment and to help spread happiness to many others makes up for any hassle associated with the job and keeps mall Santas coming back year after year. 
And the question you've all been waiting for, is he real? Well, it's not for me to say. What do you think? Do you have any interesting stories about your encounters with a mall Santa? And which fact did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.